What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, um, we withstood a sally from Yerevan. We fought a little skirmish with some Austrian chaps over here. We've grown our garrison in Istanbul ready for an inevitable Austrian attack, which is quite significant. And we also ended up losing Iceland, but that's okay because it meant this, ar this army which would ordinarily have been... Oh, pity I've got a scholar there. Um, a army that ordinarily would have been potentially aimed at me. Um, I've actually got some... They've actually got... got a, I've, got a, I've got a bit of respite, and they've, they're have going to take some time to redeploy. So it's giving me a little extra time to build up my economy. And we've got a great arsenal in Anatolia. That opens up more artillery research tracks but I'm pretty happy with my breakdown at the minute. Kosiani is going to be upgraded next turn. Um, Command share is probably going to be upgraded next turn. They're pretty happy as it is. Um, mainly because I'm a massive army but also because they're going to get rid of some of their um, resistance to foreign occupation. But I can upgrade this happiness building um, if happiness starts to become a bit of a problem. But right now, I'm not conducting offensive operations. I want to build my capacity in theatre. I think, unfortunately, because I'm, I'm, uh, my army there is out of movement, that's why I've not triggered an assault. But I'm going to run south, engage the bottom army, and force the whole lot north. So while we've got... See, now they're demanding even more stuff, but you're friendly with Russia, and I don't want to... Well, I need the money. I need the money, and they're pretty basic techs. But this is... These are both, like, level one. So, okay. I'll take that extra money. I'm going to use that money to kill your allies. Indirectly, in due course. Aha! Another Georgian Sally. Let's deal with it. And they have no mortars, so I'll be more aggressive um, in this instance. But yeah, things are things are going pretty good. Okay, so similar position to where we were last time. Deploy the guns up on the hill. Our Israeli front line is going to deploy. Turn the guns off, fire at will. Grenadiers, Israeli, and my Azar are going to get ready to move down the right. Melee infantry are going to move up behind the line. Semini, hold back. My cavalry and camels are going to move up on the flanks. Got some Delhi horsemen with my camels. Okie dokie, so let's. Let's be honest, it looks like I'm probably going to have to get my camels over here pretty too sweet. run these guys not to get in position earlier more about getting some cavalry shots off Zemido horseman you're going to go and engage the Tatar ahead of time you're going to be my sacrificial unit to allow my army to redeploy. They're both skirmish cavalry, so this should be okay. To be honest, I don't, to be honest, I don't really know who's going to win. All I know is we're both skirmish cavalry. The generals join them, which isn't ideal. 
but God, it's got Danny Horseman on to fire at will. Blast him. Okay, these cavalrymen just run out the way. Same with you, to be honest. Just run out the way. Because my infantry is getting into a firing position. Yeah, fair enough, you routed. Oh, I forgot about that formation. Sure, both of these are the units are on fire. It will off. So you smash the militia. These guys are going to get the armed citizenry. Now you can fire. Well, engage this unit. This is the general. It is the general. General's bodyguard. Let's see if any of these lads can. Fetch him off his horse. Oh yeah, there he goes. Look at that. Artillery to focus on this unit. My camels can hit the general. You guys form square because the Tatars are coming in. Well, I'm going to beat a square, boys. You guys get out of square, back into formation so they don't shoot through their own square. Good, there goes the enemy general. So he's not really a concern now. Let's halt, halt threat or halt attack. Is that everyone? Yeah, that is everyone. There we go, just speed up time. Take him out. It is a pity we don't have. Let's turn the firewall off. It's a pity we don't have a general here, but yeah, it's a far like citizenry, citizenry unit. But it looks like all these guys are gonna successfully exit the field. Yeah, they sure are. So they may as well kill those guys damn right it was a decisive victory and we're going to follow it up when it's our turn with a final assault or it might end up being an auto resolve because we fought the battle twice <laughs> good our growth is really starting to boom now Good, let's upgrade university here. Let's pick up this cotton warehouse. Pasha's palace probably isn't a... Well, it definitely isn't a bad idea. Improves happiness and all sorts of good things. I mean, we've got the stuff we can build everywhere. Sultan's Observatory would be nice, but the Pasha's Palace means it's a completed tech route. How many men have they got left? Yeah, that's an auto-resolve right there. So it doesn't mean we don't get enough to rebuild the city, but we can do that next turn. 
Um, I can move this agent up over to Chikask to keep an eye on what's going on over there. What I want to do is take this army under Mr. Mehmet, move himself, and then attack the Austrians here. Because they've got some good units, actually. That'd be quite nice to chew up. Especially if we hit them all in a row. We know we can predict. <sighs> yep, good. <laughs> I stopped talking because my recording was stopped and the progress bar wasn't. I was wondering if I'd had a um, audio problem again. But I haven't. But yes, because they're all in a nice line, I can predict where they're coming in. And because they don't have any artillery, it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to... Uh, to use it because they have none because it might be smart to start putting fellow uh, Israeli at the edges of my formations Oop, I'm about to sneeze Ooh. um yeah it'd be good to put some Israelis at the edge of the edges of my formation so I don't uh, so I don't have too many weak points, really. At, at least at the flanks. In the centre, they've got a bit more support. There you go. Line up my bashies. But line up my fellaheen. My riskers of souls are in the middle. And they're just they're just so good. Deadly horsemen in the trees. Camels on the left in the trees. General in the centre. Burn powder, gentlemen. So they're probably going to go after the ca this cavalry unit. I'd much rather you go for... Not, that, but not really the West Cavalry, but... Yeah, they are digging in. Let's just bombard the dug in positions. Oh, yeah, my seminies are back here as well. Bit of a sound bug. Oh, well, they're going to charge my Fellaheen. But I've got my. They can charge me Fellaheen Musketeers, but this is why I've got my Fellaheen Swordsmen right behind. So any that make it through the charge get mown down. Okay, they actually got some good shots off on me. Oh god, as soon as we look. There goes the enemy cavalry. I'm okay to bombard them as their troops enter the field. So let's have a look at them. So this is their marines. Standard looking marines, but with a different colour scheme. These guys, the Freikorps line infantry, they look pretty dapper. Okay, they've got more men coming in. Another cavalry unit. By the time they're reloaded, they'll probably be in canister range. Oh, seemingly not. Open, we're engaging it. Extreme range. Oh, I got some. As we see, enemy reinforcements, reinforcements cresting the edge of the hill. There's the 16th heading right for us. So you are a lovely target. 
yeah, I'm not looking to destroy them. I am looking to just damage them and knock them back. I'm looking for the exchange ratio primarily. So they are going to go for my camels. They haven't charged them yet, but I'm content to walk for now because they're tired and my guys will be in good condition. So now we charge them. Poor cavalrymen. I mean, it is really weird how the sound is super flexible like that. Sometimes it's just like... Okay, good. Okay, so now it's back. Sort of. Eh, just keep attacking him. So 16 thread of a foot is taking the brunt of the uh, brunt of the fire because they're the only thing to really engage. Okay. Pull my Mamelukes back. Back to the safety of the square. Because what's this? 206 cavalry? No, Mamelukes, don't engage. Continue to move back. Drag them into our square formation. Counter charge the Lancers with these chaps. Get my Feline involved in the next mouse. He's going to send these involved as well. And fire at will. Off. It's a big old scrum back here with the poor lancers. Not able to uh, conduct their maneuver warfare in the way they would like. Don't chase them down. Allow them to get shot at by the infantry. As I am out of range. So you form square to be shot at by bottom gunners. not fire it's definitely not fireworks it's someone just being a public menace because it's still fairly light out it's four o'clock in the afternoon i know it gets dark quick but no that's not a firework going off that's someone that's someone uh, having some fun with explosives which is rather fun okay so now they the enemy is starting to weaken its position are these lances coming back yeah they are Fell into counter charge already. Good. Let's try to soften up some of the men. Formation. We form a new line. 
want my melee infantry out wide to flank those defensive positions. Yeah, you can provide some support. These bashes can probably go wide as well. It's like these guys behind the cover. I want to kind of have someone here as bait to them for them to shoot at, and then I want to charge my melee infantry through this field and hit them in the flank, while at the same time pounding them with artillery. And a good direct hit onto the marines. Short rounds against the uh, Swiss line. Maybe focus it this year instead. Okay, let's begin to push men up into Musket range. Yeah, Semenes. I wondered why I had some spare felly. <laughs> Those men form my reserve. Push my camels up. Okay, everyone start to run because they are advancing and we don't want to miss out on our positions. Especially over here on this flank, we'll get a nice bit of fire superiority going on. For this. Yeah, they are fairly in, they are fairly low courage. So, this is why we'll probably want to have a fairly unit over there to fill up, to fill in the. Uh, to fill the line when they've realised how unhappy they are. They've reorientated their line. But all they've done is provide a flank on flank shot onto my Feline Musketeers. Charge my Bashi Bazooks in. It's the Carabiners. Okay. So these Feline. They're good enough to do the job. Charge my camels into the flank of the line infantry, charge the bashies into support, charge these bashies into support the carabiners. So they're gonna unload a, a broadside into hey, the generals in the carabiner group. Don't worry, bashies, don't waver. These are Israelis broke. Pushing a Felina. So this unit of footline should fall fairly quickly. Maybe at great cost. Good. You realised how many men you haven't yet lost. You guys like this, push these guys up on the flank. Feline have to get involved quick. Get 
target other units with the artillery. Good. Cut them down. Good stuff. Actually, let's hold artillery all together. need to charge them down. Feline have broken the ranks of the Swiss line, but they are still doing quite well. No, don't move back. You guys keep attacking them. We've got them surrounded. broken everywhere at once. Let's continue. Oh, the Freikor really did get annihilated. We go after the Swiss line first. The general, I want him to go for... to go for this unit. Quickly. Camels continue to chase down the line infantry. I'd like to go for the Marines, but the Marines will. They will come in time. In fact, if my Mamelukes can kill the Swiss line, then the Marines will be their next target. Let's get my general to go chase down that unit of marines. Sadly, they will likely escape. Oh, but there's only so much you can do. Oh, no, they're still... Okay, my camels are after someone. Everyone charge them down instead. Well, no, not my general. He's going to kill a bunch of my men if he charges. Just run like normal, run through that unit of Bashi Bazooks. Now charge. Eh, it wasn't close. It was funky, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, we lost... We've definitely lost a lot more men than I would like. But we've destroyed those formations as a fighting unit. That's pretty good. Okie dokie, I think now this ship can finally make it safely back to Anatalia. I would like to take these guys out. New port emerges. Oh, Sinop was a port. Too bad. So there become, really becomes a question of what we do about the happiness problem. And the answer will probably be to knock down this religious happiness building. Although it does, we do get four happiness. Hmm. Remains to be seen. Hanover's been destroyed by the Prussians. The Prussians uh, have got a bit of a funky shaped empire going on. Cherokee own Breslau. The Flemish have rebelled. Hmm. Oh, we've done everything we can do. Georgia was destroyed, as it should be. Okay. Let's get a couple of boring turns done, because uh, while I know, well, I know you guys probably don't enjoy empire investing as much as I do. Um, I think it's pretty damn neat. So, see, look, they just keep... They just keep coming. Feels like the Austrians are sending everything they've got towards us. It's 
So this army on the left needs to be expanding. Well, not expanding, upgrading. And I need to keep strengthening the Istanbul garrison. And I need to keep building up my economy because we're growing, we're growing really quickly. But it could be faster. Craft workshops, clearances. Good, okay. First, let's build another fourth rate. Add that onto the queue. Let's take you guys. Replenish. I'm going to drop you guys off here. It looks like this army is just a bunch of the guys that reformed before. And it looks like the Austrians are starting to work their way over here. So I probably want... So you guys have more melee attack and more morale than Feline. Less defence. But still not bad defence. Oh, let's get a unit of howitzers ready to fill the gaps. Because you guys have pistols. That's not quite what I want. Get two units of Semat Janissaries, Janissaries to help bulk up the garrison. Let's also get some, maybe even some pikes. Because that'd be great at blocking out certain areas. Newport in Georgia. I can need to rebuild this building, which is going to be fairly expensive. A priest is converting it. I think I can move them out because it was previously our territory. Yeah, two. That's not unre it's not unreasonable. This priest is moving up towards Chertask or Cherkask. Then only enough of 800 left to build a proper building. Which this one's probably going to be a trade port. To expand on wealth. There's no need to grow our population anymore. Farm any farm. Okay, let's take this army and hit Dietfried Schroeder. The yeah, underwater there. We lost more men than I would like, but. How many more? Only 66 more coins. Yep, that was our fourth rate we recruited. Karaman Ali. Thankfully, these Moroccans haven't been doing anything too risky. A great general. Gordon. Mr. Mehmet, he is pretty good, but eventually he will die. Our tech's pretty is on the right track. Let's hit end turn. Here come the oh, the navies. The British navy's moved, probably to pick up more troops. So it's a matter of some importance that we continue to grow our navy. So that's three Austrian stacks in Bulgaria. Four. That's four Austrian stacks are heading our way. Man, that's a lot of firepower. Um, I could expand towards the British, but right now I don't really want to. I mean the British in India, or the Indian region, but I don't really want to because there's no... There's no need... I think hopefully the Danes are going to go try take back to um, Iceland. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I need more firepower in the Balkans. That's what I really need. Works on strike in Armenia, but now they're okay. Okay, I need money. You have no towns to grow, so let's build a trade port. Iron mines are good because they provide lots of solid income. You're also going to be a trade port. You, I'm going to add another fourth rate to the line. I'm going to upgrade Romelia's military academy in order to improve her ability to create armies to protect herself. Let's bring these pikes over to the city. Okay. 
Okay, Greece doesn't... Okay, these armies, these are going to be autos, because they're not... Just auto. Wow, that's a load of men. 200 men, that's not the amount we needed to... We wanted to have kill, killed. Didn't even look at them. 113, we get that's manageable. It's not a priority to rebuild anything on the Istanbul front, because we know what's coming. I'd rather grow my economy. Okay, let's build Sultan's Observatory in Cairo. And let's upgrade a farm. So we've got an eye on what the Russian garrison looks like in, in um, the region. They are gathering their army. Three stacks. Another stack coming down the west. Fortunately, we'll have enough movement points to move to the east to block them off. The Russians, they're going to try and move back in to take Crimea. Or maybe they've been repelled. That's why it looks like they're moving to siege the port rather than push. Go on, Denmark. Go take back part of your homeland. <laughs> oh no, the Crimeans stacked it. Them and their recruited armies have been pushed out of the capital, so I'm probably about to lose an ally to the north. It provides an interesting opportunity to attack, but right now we really need to work on Austria. That's our main concern. Enemy raid here, so I can move you back to here. They can't move around us unless they get all the way around here. These guys are moving up, but it's a fairly ragtag army. New town emerges. Baku in Azerbaijan. Here, have a craft workshop. Super great farms and a naval board. And these guys are slowly growing an army, so they will attack us. Eventually. big improvement on growth but happiness is a problem so you're very poor you're just poor very poor poor okay attempt to destroy this building and rebuild as a Turkish bath to help grow happiness in Ankara because I don't want them to uh, rebel let's that's an expensive thing to build as an economic upgrade. Can upgrade the fur trapper post to get more pelts for export. Let's upgrade these water powered cloth mills. Let's upgrade something in Jerusalem. Move you guys into the city. Let's recruit another unit of Israeli just to man the walls. Okay. I am pleased that our income is going up every turn. And I'm also pleased the Austrians seem to be procrastinating about whether or not to attack. What? But I had movement. I had movement points. You can't just walk past me like that. Well, the odds they didn't let me do that. <laughs> so I'm going to want to attack them from the south to force them north. Rather than attack them and make them run towards Athens. And then we lose Athens. That would be super annoying. But that is the way the Empire Gods go. I'll have a bit of tea while this is going on. get a bit cold but I don't mind that <laughs> it's probably blasphemous for any British audiences I've got you can't drink cold tea well it's not cold it's kind of warmish drinkable and I'm busy I'm not about to go put it in the microwave ok 
market, wealth of nations, increased unhappiness. Royal Janissary Guards. I think I might just quickly build two more units of Feline. Keep the fourth rate ship production, fourth rate production line going. Mashad has been built in Persia. Yeah, the clamour for, for reform is a concern, especially when I lose my garrison. But then again, I'll actually be up. So it'll be down to six, then it will be down to three. No, it would probably be good if I built this. No, actually, I could upgrade this guy to gain extra happiness across the board. Let's do that, and let's build you into a craft workshop. Let's upgrade. Ports are always good, but they're very expensive. Mines are good, but it's only a hundred extra gold. Same here. So this would probably be a good investment to try and get more options for trade. Although we can, I don't know. I've tried these options for trade. No, I'm not going to pay you three and a half grand. You're surrounded on all sides, matey boy. Hey, they took Brussels. <laughs> Denmark's re-establishing itself on the continent. Okay. Let's just try and upgrade our economy across the board. Actually, let's go to Baghdad and upgrade this to a Pasha's Palace. Get some more trade ports. Ooh, that means you need an occupying unit which will be a mob. Then let's take this army, move you south. Ah, oh, too bad they intercepted me. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for another episode of grinding the Ottomans into dust and then sending even more men towards us. Cheers everyone.